Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Preemptive like, hi guys. I am well aware of Sam Manila, all right? Uh, he was one of the earlier channels I reacted to a lot of his videos. Diogenes, the publicly def def defecating philosopher. Nice. Uh, Sam Monella, he's hilarious. I haven't watched one of his videos in a very long time. Maybe I'll go on a, a binge quick. Original link to the video. Excuse me, I just burp. Double excuse me. Double, double. Original link to the video, top of the description, below that link. That was a hiccup. Jesus. Link to the Discord. Click on it. Send you right over there. Would love to have you. My name is Connor. I said that, I think. Uh, let's do it. Vlogging through history. He is my favorite. Like, I, I don't watch a... I used to watch reaction channels, but ever since I started reacting, I prefer... I create my own, but he is the one and Mr. Terry history. But probably number one, vlogging through history. I love that his channel he seemed he seems like such a great guy and and uh so he's the one reaction channel that that i i watch somewhat frequently he he's awesome anyways uh dad let's go phones away get ready to learn kids time for another hot steamy load of knowledge dripping down your neck and chest today we're gonna talk about the greatest mind to ever live nope not him nope keep trying who i'm really referring to is the ancient greek philosopher known as diogenes of sinope diogenes right. followed the school of thought known as cynicism far from the yelling at cnn sitting down during the pledge kind of cynicism we know today cynic philosophy centers around the rejection of conventional desires in favor of a simple moderate lifestyle. But while many philosophers made a virtue out of self-discipline, Diogenes took all that to a whole new level. He was the most down-to-earth guy out there. Literally, he lived on the ground, in a big tub in the marketplace where he'd beg for a living. For a while, his only possession was a wooden bowl, until one day he saw a child drinking out of his hands, and he was like, what do I need this shit for? Now, though his way of life and perspective was unique enough, it's the way Diogenes showed it that really set him apart from the rest. When someone today wants to go against society, they dye their hair blue and make a blog post about how there aren't any oh, obese God. women of color in Super Smash Bros. On the other hand, when Diogenes has something to say, he just jerks off in public. Takes a dump in the amphitheater, pisses My on man. passerby, whatever. Same. The way he saw it, he was just what public. What else did he do? Same here. Takes a dump in the amphitheater, pisses on passerby, whatever. The way he saw it, he was just performing much needed bodily functions while also protesting the superficiality of the civilization around him. Keep in mind, though he was an unwashed, publicly defecating homeless man, that's not all he was. His wit was easily on par with his philosophical contemporaries and his lack of inhibition meant that everyone knew it. For example, all right, uh, do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in a few. There is nothing permanent except change. If one were to replace every single plank on a, a of wood a, a, of a ship, does it remain the same ship? No, it does not. It's a different ship. On par with his philosophical contemporaries, and his lack of inhibition meant that everyone knew it. For example, here's an often pondered question of the day. How do you define a human in the simplest of terms possible? Play a primate super smart Plato decided to tackle this question and he came up with featherless biped and in the ancient Greek world they didn't have any kangaroos or gibbons or nothing so people were the only things around that both walked on two legs and didn't have feathers oh, Plato oh. thought he was real clever with that one Diogenes on the other hand he wasn't having any of it so he said all right you pompous prick I'll give you a featherless biped so in reality we do not learn and what we call Wait. learning is only a process of recollection <laughs> oh god damn it not you again what's up fuckers hey check out this person i found isn't it such a human look at him wow what a guy anyway love to stay in chat but i saw some trash outside that looked delicious smell you later deliberator oh hey it's a human by your definition 
Yes, my student. Yeah, uh, what the fuck? Here's another <laughs> anecdote. Macedonian King Alexander was a big fan of Diogenes, so he decided to pay him a visit. And he said, hey man, big fan. If there's any favor I can do for you, anything at all, just let me know. I'll make it happen. Now, to put this into perspective, this is Alexander we're talking about. Great. The guy who had his cousin straight up assassinated so he could take the throne. Huh? Did I forget that? And he cheated on the not game. There was a not that no one could untie. And he comes along, oh yeah? And just cuts it with a sword. Uh, uh, oh, thanks, man. That wasn't the point. The guy who would later go on to conquer the majority of the civilized world. And you know what Diogenes says? He goes, yeah, you can do me a favor. Move over, you're in my light. Wow, Boss. I'm just, I'm not even mad. Boss. You really are, just a legend. Diogenes lived up to the ripe old age of 89. I don't know if that's wow. a testament to his lifestyle or if he just got lucky, but either way, if there is a god, he definitely has a sense of humor. The exact cause of Diogenes' death varies depending on which source you look at. Some say he died from an infected dog bite. Others say it was from eating raw octopus. My favorite theory is that one day he just got tired of living, and he just held his that's breath until he died. He left behind instructions on That's definitely the one. What to do with his body after he passed. Now, wow. when people think of special post-mortem instructions like these, they usually think, Scatter my ashes at 6.53 a.m. off the western face of Mount Rainier using my grandfather's favorite ladle. None of that with Diogenes. He kept it simple. In the words of Danny DeVito, When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. Specifically, <laughs> he wanted his body tossed into the wild so animals could feast on him, thereby giving back to the earth what little he took from it. So can what I would love is, I would love to be put, I would love my body to be put in a place that is likely to preserve and mummify, if not probably fossilize, or at least kind of somewhat, and just put me in like a funny position that's just going to like baffle future archaeologists and anthropologists that dig me up. That'd be hilarious. That's what I want. Just put me somewhere where you think I'll be somewhat safe from, like, natural... But, like, that could be funny. Kids, moral of the story, don't judge a book by its cover. The man who appears to be nothing more than a shit-smeared babbling vagrant could actually be the wisest man you'll ever meet. Or, or it could really just be a raving fucking <laughs> lunatic. Bring a knife, just in case. Anyway, till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching. Thank you for making. Just... Jerked off in public, my man. Uh, but honestly, 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 if I'm gonna take my God, all of if I'm gonna take one thing actually like really insightful, um, it was you said him about how there are bros. The amphitheater pisses or smash. He saw it. He was just performing much needed body. What? He just jerks off in public. Takes a dump in the yeah. amphitheater, pisses on passerby, whatever. The way he saw it, he was just performing much needed bodily functions while also protesting the superficiality of the civilization around him. Very interesting. I mean, obviously, I mean, bro, like, I get your point, but that, like, we are just animals and this is stuff that every, everyone jerks it once in a while, everyone pees and poops and farts and everything. Um,. I'll try right now. No, I'm joking. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, all right, you, you made your point, but like, I, I don't want poop in the streets or, or your man sauce. Awesome video. Let me know if you want more Sam Onella stuff. I might just watch it anyway. Love you guys. Hope you're doing well. All right. Chin up. If you're not, you'll be good soon. Do not worry. Emotions are fickle. Bye, guys.